You ever feel like there just aren't enough days out there? Because let this sink in. When you add it up, the average woman spends 72 days in her life just shaving. Oh, and that is the major appeal with laser hair removal. At least it would be for me. Beautifully smooth skin <laughs> without having to shave, wax, or epilate. So how do you know if you're a good candidate? We're going to find out because we've got Dr. Joel Schlesinger. Uh, he can help with that. Good morning, doctor. Good to see you. It's great to have you here. Great well, to be here. Mary said it. How do you know if you're a good candidate for laser hair removal? Well, and what is the deal with that there, Mike? <laughs> I told you, it's a superstition. Speaking of, of all days for you of to be here. It's a superstition. You, you know, yeah. it's, I'm doing it for the Huskers. Okay. Well, then <laughs> that's going to get us over the, over the hump tomorrow. So, laser hair removal is great for a lot of people, uh, guys, women, and the idea behind it, certainly for women, is unwanted hair. For men, a lot of men are looking buff, and that makes it easier. Mm -hmm. They don't have to shave. A lot of people had ingrown hairs as well mm -hmm. that they could not take care of. And, you know, you talk about the 72 days a year. Actually, before laser hair removal came out, and we've been doing it for over 20 years now. So we, I started laser hair removal back in 1996 wow. in the research part of it when they didn't have any. Mm -hmm. And so we had women that would spend an hour of their lives every morning plucking hairs before a mirror because mm -hmm. they couldn't get it uh, taken care of. So that turned out to be a whole year. They said 24 oh my years gosh. of that. It's a whole year of my life that I've spent plucking hairs. So uh -huh. it's amazing what it's done. But that's time, but there's also the confidence that comes with it where you sort of think, or you, you look in your rearview mirror in the car, like, oh my gosh, when did that? Did they that just, just grow just today? Absolutely. I mean, it's so frustrating. You were just talking about plucking, and I'm touching my face now. Let's cover the areas of the body where laser hair removal works. So the most common area probably is uh, for women, lips, chin, around the ears. Uh -huh. And for guys, it's going to be that neck area, ingrown hair on the, on the neck and beard area, uh -huh. and of course the back and chest. Oh, let's go through that's, some of these photographs then. That's a big then. one for guys. Yeah, the back. so you can yeah. see yeah. that person there. And those photos are just amazing. That was with, a, I think it was four treatments for that individual, and it really made a big, big difference. Wow, huge. And you can see just a, a tremendous uh, change in the hair and uh -huh. the content, the character of the hair. So it's a really great, uh, great treatment for backs. We also do it on uh, underarms for women. Oh, uh -huh. that's a that's an area for the uh, beard area uh -huh. or uh, chin area, and you can see that a lot of people like it because it makes a big difference in their confidence level. They don't have to shave. I had people that were coming in and shaving twice, three times a day because it was so obvious. And that's the underarm, such an easy era to do. Really? You can see that. How many treatments for the underarm? Oh, about three or four. Mm -hmm. And then you go on maintenance. Maybe you do it every you know, three to six months, maybe even nine months. It depends on how quickly your hair wants to come back. So mm -hmm. we don't talk about it being permanent because there are going to be some hormones. Mm -hmm. That's a lip, upper lip area and chin area and you can see that upper lip was very very um, fuzzy but it was an mm -hmm. easy one for us to take care of and so for people who have lip areas that are or chin areas that are uh, frustrating for them it's very easy for them to uh -huh. take care of that's the chin area uh -huh. there I too. do I see the fuzz yeah. sort of showing up in that photograph yeah. And it's so easy for them to get it done. And I, now the other thing is, that's that lip area that we talked uh -huh. about. The other thing is that many people get irritation from shaving. And you can, we have lasers that are good for African Americans. And that is great as well because- That's huge. Oh, it is. Because it turned out that initially when we did lasers, there wasn't a really great laser for African Americans. Because you needed the contrast hair. between the hair color exactly. and the skin color. Exactly. But now technology has advanced to the point to where that that's not it as is. much of an issue. Right. Treat right. more people. With the right lasers. Uh -huh. Now, keep in mind, you have to have the right okay. lasers. Dr. Schlesinger, who is like the scientific guru, because he's doing more studies right now. If you took the two largest healthcare institutions in our area, Dr. Schlesinger is doing more right now in research than the two of them combined. So I said to him, can you um, remove the hair because I hate to shave my legs, <laughs> but it's blonde hair. And you said... No, it doesn't work yeah, on blonde hair. Right. That's the one thing. Blonde or red hair. Now, blonde hair doesn't have any melanin in uh -huh. it. Red hair has a little bit of melanin, and that's what the laser has to come up against. So it has to have a good bit of melanin because then it uses that laser kind of like a search and destroy missile to go in there and 
and it takes the bulb of the hair root and it just explodes it. Mm -hmm. And it's very, it's very cool, I have to say. That's, uh -huh. uh, but unfortunately, blondes and uh, redheads. You know, I believe in you, though. I think you can do this. <laughs> work we'll on work the technology. On it. Okay. Well, like she said, you're the guru in this. And, you know, through all your years of experience, have you, is there a foolproof way of getting rid of hair permanently? Is, uh, is there anything out there? You know, a lot of these things do lead towards semi-permanent or in some cases permanent mm -hmm. but I always like to make sure that people have a good expectation going in you know there's really no excuse for over promising I'd rather under promise and over deliver than over promise and under deliver and mm -hmm. that's I think what happens yeah. you know a lot of times you see these places that say permanent and we mm -hmm. don't know for sure because people have hormones they can come back mm -hmm. but I like to say that people have a little bit of a touch-up now and then mm -hmm. and it's very simple and it does a great job but you know again the most important thing is go to a place that is really responsible because this is not foolproof this is not mm -hmm. something that is a one and done and anybody can pull that laser mm -hmm. and do a great job because there can be burns there can be issues and we we love to do the technology but we want to make sure it's safe because mm -hmm. there are a lot of people out there that are doing it that are not qualified. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, to have been doing it now for 20 years says a lot. Um, and to see those pictures where you know um, the difference, not just you get the time back, it looks so much better, but I also, when I see those pictures, I think about the confidence of those patients and, and how they must feel. And then we have this, an awesome offer from Dr. Schlesinger, save on laser hair removal, 25% off your treatments now through the end of October. So let's show you where to find them. Most of you know, because what is it, like a third of the population or something like that in the city of Omaha is a patient of his. Uh, Dr. Schlesinger there near 144th um, east of there on center on Oakview Drive and then online. It's lovelyskin.com slash laser hair removal. Doctor, good to see you. Good to see you too. Um, you and go watch, Huskers. You're gonna be watching the game tomorrow. I'll be there. Mm -hmm. You're gonna go. You're gonna go. Oh, yeah. Oh. All right. We'll make some noise in the stadium. Okay? <laughs> Absolutely. Let's Thanks, go Dr. Huskers. Lessinger. Thank you guys. Good to see you. Uh, I guess.